Hey everyone, Matt here. With Complete Control 1.5, you can now create custom mapping templates for your third-party virtual instruments within the Complete Control software. This is important because personalizing your instruments allows you to play your favorite synths just the way you want from the moment you load them. The big attraction with hardware synths is simply reaching for the parameters you want to control. And I'm going to show you why making an effort to create a custom mapping is totally worth it. So a keyboard controller is only as good as it is intuitive and musical, if you ask me. Sure, all keyboard controllers have keys that are going to play the pitches, and a lot of them have knobs and faders, but they're not always assigned as intuitively as they should be. And that's the beauty of Complete Control. When you use it with any of the Native Instruments plugins, a lot of effort and work has gone into making that native map smart and musical. So for instance, let's look, let's load our favorites from the hardware. I'm gonna go over to the right and then hit up and click on the star so we can see that. And let's load up a patch called Wand, which is from Reactor 6, the blocks. This huge, big, gorgeous sound. And look what's happening here. There are literally hundreds of MIDI CCs and automation IDs and parameters to worry about. So how are you going to make this pretty musical? Well, that's in this control area. And to do that, I'm going to access it by hitting I from my keyboard. And it will open up that page. So you can see Native Instance went ahead and mapped it out well thought. They said, like, let's grab each oscillator section, or if I want to come to the filter. And it's so easy to navigate on the controller. You're just arrowing around, and then it's clearly labeled whatever you want to do. If you want to change whatever you need to do. Now, let's look at an example where this is not so intuitive. And it's not the fault of anybody other than the fact that this is how software plugins work. So I'm going to load a third-party plugin, a plugin I absolutely love called Serum. And the thing is, it's a great synth. It's very easy to program, except look what happens when I load it inside a complete control, or my DAW for that matter. You just have a lot of parameters that are kind of like the one next after the other, and it really doesn't make a lot of musical sense. So from page one, I can do things like tune the oscillator A in all sorts of different ways. But what if I want to find my filter? Um, hmm. Okay, page six, here's the filter. Oh, but there's no on button for the filter, or, you know, here's my envelope. I was looking for that before. And it's lost in all this other oscillator stuff. You know, I'm not really a fan of that. And it's not the fault of the developer, it's just how software plugins work. There's so many parameters to take into account. So what I suggest doing is creating a custom mapping. So I've done just that for Serum. I've made an initial patch, and I've mapped it out with about seven pages that make more sense to me and how I want to use the synthesizer. And it didn't take long at all. It's very easy to do. You simply come in, unlock, and click on this little icon in order to choose which knob you want to control and then simply turn a parameter to assign it that way. Done. That easy. What I also love is that you can even keep spaces in between so it even keeps it more clear. So for instance, my main page, I can adjust my filter, I can adjust my envelope. And let's come over to A and turn up the unison. Wave table position, warp it, right? Simple, simple stuff. Some LFOs, some uh, modulation envelopes, turn on oscillator B. Turn on my delay, turn on my reverb. So all those controls are right there. And then the beauty of having a third-party plugin custom mapped inside of Complete Control is that you can take advantage of the other things like the arpeggiator. Or the scale modes. So something you don't normally have in this plugin. Now I can go ahead and grab an F sharp flamenco. Or even run it through chords. You know you can run the arpeggio through a chord. And just having that hands-on control with the custom mapping. Not a lot of work goes into doing that, and really you're going to get a huge benefit in the long run. I highly suggest looking at it.